the fact that I'm trying to get BTS tour barricade. Pray for me. Pray for me. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your girl, Princess Galaxy, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A slash part two to the first video I made about getting the best K-pop concert tickets. So if you guys haven't seen that video already, I will be putting it right here <laughs> so that you guys can see it. Basically, it's a play-by-play, step-by-step -play, um, -step breakdown of how I've always gotten the best concert tickets for K-pop events. And it's a really easy guide. And I know a lot of us are kind of freaking out because of like BTS and like the whole stadium tour thing. We got new armies and it's just like, traumatized to clear some things up from the last video because the ticketing process can be a little scary and i'm here to help you i am your ticket buying undie so we're just gonna get into it so we're gonna start with this question i'm so confused everyone else has been saying to refresh and refresh and don't forget to refresh and then there's you who's like don't do it help i need tickets from bts coming in 2020 so basically when people say to not refresh they usually mean when it comes to actually being in the key. So it's so right but so right before the tickets go on sale and you're in the key, you should not be refreshing. If you see a bar and there's a person like walking, do not refresh because if you want to get like closer to the end of like the line or like closer to like the front of the line, refreshing will not help you. It will push you back farther. So when people say to refresh, they mean when you're on the ticketing page and the and it usually gives you like a sign or a saying that's like oh um there's no tickets available in this section then you can refresh the page because the tickets have already gone on sale but before the tickets go on sale like you're in the key don't refresh that's what i mean so sorry for that confusion so tldr refresh after you've got on the ticketing page if you can't find the ticket that you want and don't refresh before you actually get onto the ticketing page, AKA while you're in the key. So I hope that helped. All right, this second comment is from Helen or Helene. Hello, Helen. If you prepare to buy tickets from different devices, aren't you supposed to be logged in from different accounts too? Like you said you should log into only one account, but what about the other devices? So in my last video, I said you should only be logged in on one of your devices and you shouldn't be making multiple accounts. The other devices, you don't have to be logged in to get tickets from other devices. Like I said, for when I did Blackpink and BTS, I had three separate devices I was using and I was only logged in on my laptop. And surprisingly, even though I was logged in on my laptop, it didn't matter because my iPad ended up getting the VIP ticket, ended up going quicker into the key. You don't need to be logged into more than one of your devices. And actually, like I said in the last video, if you're logged into more than one device, Ticketmaster will push you off the server and you won't be able to buy the ticket. So the whole point of the key system that Ticketmaster has created is to prevent people from creating bots and being on multiple devices and in turn taking tickets away from real fans. So the whole point is to not be on different devices under one account because that's what bots do when they're trying to prevent bots. Okay, next question is from Pat Balmendiano. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for all these tips. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Do you have any idea how the army membership works and how that will that will affect ticket sales in the future? I have no clue as to what the hell Big Kit is trying to do with this army membership raffle ticket thing. Okay? I don't understand it. I do know someone, and they're probably watching this right now, who has who bought an army membership, but even like she doesn't know. So when the time comes and the tickets go on sale, I'll ask her about it. Next question is about resale tickets. So Tabitha asks, is StubHub and Vivid Seats good to use? So I've heard a lot of weird things about Vivid Seats, but for me, I've used StubHub for I would say the last six concerts I went to. So if you guys don't know, I recently went around the country and followed Super M on tour, so you can check out those vlogs um, right there. I use StubHub to buy every single concert ticket in that entire 10 days that I was following Super M. And they have really reliable, like, I've never seen anyone talk bad about StubHub. I've been using StubHub for years. It's actually a really great resale app because they have, I'm not sure about Vivid Seats, so I'm not commenting on Vivid Seats because I don't really use them and I haven't heard like amazing things. You know, some people, I think 
I've heard of people getting scammed on there, but like I don't have experience with them. But StubHub, I use StubHub for like almost every concert I go to. I use StubHub for Twice Lights in Chicago and I was able to get a really good seat for like 60 bucks. Um, StubHub is really good, especially if you want to do like a hack and buy the con buy the tickets the day of. Because the day of the concert, usually people are like desperate to sell the tickets, so they'll like put it down really low. Like for one of the spots on Super M's tour, I believe it was Chicago, I got a ticket like an hour before the concert started for like $24. Like, that's peak. So yes, StubHub is a really good site for resale. Alright, the next question is about the key. So Brooke says, I have a question. Once you're in the key, do you have to check out really fast in order to get a ticket or do you take your time? So when you're in the key, that basically means that you're in a line. So think of the key as like a line. I feel like when people think of the key, it's like it, it's basically a line. So Ticketmaster made the key, like I said earlier, to basically be a line to prevent um, bots and scalpers from like going in and snatching a bunch of tickets up. So think of it as like you're in line. So when you're in line, like you're like behind a person and then like you get a chance to get a ticket. And so when you're out of the line, you're actually in like the area to get a ticket. That's where the map is and all the seats are on the sidebar and it shows you how many, what quantity you want and everything. So that's the page where you should be like kind of quick and like fast and know what you want and like get in and get out. And then once you're at the checkout, they usually give you like maybe three to five minutes to like confirm your seats and like check out. So once you're in checkout, you're you're good you know like you have a timer but like you should already have your credit card information and stuff like that so you can take your time after you've selected your tickets and you're in the checkout so yeah take your time um depending on what venue like i said bts you might have about five minutes to do like a full checkout but that's not going to take long all you have to do is put in your credit card information your address confirm the subtotal and all that and you're good to go so you can take your time after you are in the checkout page. So the next so the uh, so the next frequently asked question that I've been getting is about AXS. So if you guys don't know AXS, they are basically another ticketing site. Most of AXS AXS's venues are in the south like Texas and Atlanta. I'm not completely 100% sure on that, but I live as you can tell near Chicago. So <laughs> I don't have any experience with AXS. I don't know if this is the same thing. I'm assuming if they had like a key system, it would be something similar, but if you want to watch videos based on like AXS and like things like that, that's why I tagged my video like as like a Ticketmaster thing because a lot of web a lot of k-pop venues or venues in general in the north like on the northern part of america like the midwest and things like that don't really use axs at all i've never had to use axs but basically no i don't have any experience with axs so i would not know i don't have any experience with that. <laughs> all right the next question are a few questions from someone named jasmine hi jasmine hope you're watching this video <laughs> so I can answer your question you can get the answer so she said hi thank you so much for this video I had a question regarding the key does the time you go onto the website and start waiting affect your position in the key so I'm just going to answer the questions one by one because I think she has three different ones so I would say to get on the website kind of as soon as you can but here's the thing so on Ticketmaster's website it basically says that you should be on the website into the key at least 10 minutes before the tickets go on sale. Um, I extremely advocate this. I know a lot of people, um, like you said, like how early do you recommend going onto the website an hour or like 20 minutes before? I have had success with being on the website 15 minutes before and then automatically being put into the key. And that was for VIP for Blackpink. So I was literally one of the first people to get a VIP ticket and I was able to get my VIP four seat in five minutes. My answer to that is an hour is kind of overkill to be on the site before, you know, the tickets go on sale. But like I said, with my Blackpink experience, I was able to get the ticket in five minutes, which is really, really nice. So before 10 minutes is fine. An hour, you can do an hour. I think it's overkill. I think maybe 15 minutes is good. And her final question is, will going on at different times on different devices help? No, not really. You want to get on all of your devices at like a similar time, like as early as possible. Like I said, I got another DM from destiny hi destiny wave emoji 
I watched your YouTube video, how to buy the best K-pop concert tickets. It was very helpful, but I have questions about the key. In the video, I noticed when you were picking your quantity, you said you usually pick one. Is it because buying tickets are quicker that way than choosing three tickets for the quantity? So um, short answer, yes, it is easier getting one ticket just for yourself instead of trying to get like more than one ticket. And the longer answer to that is yes with an asterisk. So it all depends on your situation. If you're like me and you usually go to K-pop concerts by yourself or you go with a group of people who are all gonna get like tickets in like a different section and you don't care about like sitting with your friends or like people you're going with, then I would recommend doing one. But say if you're like a sibling or something or you really wanna be next to your friend and it's just like the two of you, then you can just select two. But it is easier to get one ticket because the more quantity that you put into Ticketmaster, they're gonna put all the tickets together. <laughs> so like I said, Ticketmaster automatically, like it puts, like if you say I want five tickets, they're gonna put five tickets together. They're not gonna spread them out across the arena or across the stadium map. So you're, so the struggle in that is that you have to find like different, like you have to find spots where there's like three seats together. So it is easier to buy one seat and it, like I said, it all depends on like what your goal is. If, you're, if your goal is to just like go and like hang out with your friends and you want to be together, you can like, you know, break up how many you want to get. Say if you have a group of like six friends and like um, you can break it up into twos or threes and it will be easier. But if you're trying to get like all six of you guys like in a section together and it's like like floor or something, I wouldn't recommend it because you're just going to be wasting your time. So try to do like the less the least amount in your order if that makes sense so i don't want to keep repeating myself but basically it is easier to get one ticket so oh okay thank you i have another question what's the difference between a standard ticket and an official platinum package okay so on Ticketmaster, they have this thing called official platinum and if I'm going to be honest, it doesn't really mean anything. So I'm going to show you guys an example. For example, I'm on Ticketmaster right now and I am going to, I'm at Taylor Swift tickets because um I love Taylor Swift. I'm secretly a Swifty. I don't know if it's a secret, but I do love Taylor Swift. So we're going to go to her Lover Fest East page. And if you notice, there is an option in filters called Official Platinum. And if you look underneath Official Platinum, it says Platinum Tickets are tickets that are dynamically priced up and down based on demand. Platinum tickets are not a part of VIP packages, they are just tickets. So basically what they're saying is correct. So official platinum doesn't really mean anything. You could get a standard ticket and an official platinum ticket and they can, they're the exact same ticket. Like you look at them, they're the same. The difference, like it says, between official platinum and just a normal ticket is that the official platinum seats are fluctuating based on market demand. So the price can be like really expensive or it can be like really cheap if people aren't like looking at it as much or like if a lot of people are looking at it, then it can be like more expensive. It's not a clear cut thing, but that's basically the point of it. So yeah, official platinum, they're just they're just tickets that fluctuate in price and, mo and most likely than not, they are the most expensive on the map. Ugh. Why did I just burp? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love talking, interacting with you guys about K-pop concerts and everything of that nature. And if you enjoyed this in any way or it helped you in any way, if you liked it, if you liked me, if you liked the tips, if you like my hat, if you like my wild card hat, wait. <laughs> then like the video please so that more K-pop fans and ARMY can see this and like hopefully like you know help each other like, get the tickets that we want. And if you want to be a part of Crackhead Nation, which is basically like my subscribers and I, like, you know, we have a great time. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell to get notifications every time I make a new video. And also let me know more videos that you want to see about this topic or really anything else. I do a lot of K-pop concert vlogs and things like that. So if you have any more questions, please leave a comment or anything like that. And I will see you in the next video, which is coming next Friday. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon.